Hi guys, it's Kelly. I'm just sitting outside and I thought I would do, you know, a close up in the sunlight, in real life lighting of this beautiful summery peacocky ocean kind of vibe, kind of coloring. I think it's really beautiful. I think it's very, very wearable as well. Definitely beach color. Definitely going out to eat dinner by the beach. It's really cute. I really think it's cute. But you let me know and tell me if you like it. You can just, it feels like it's the ocean, you know, like it's the gradation of the water going from sand to green and blue water. It's just so beautiful. That's literally what it reminds me of. Hi everyone. It's Kelly. Welcome or welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My day just got better with this look. I just really wanted to do a fun, summery kind of look and just loving my Chanel products even more. And with the, you know, the Father's Day coming up and if you're looking for like, you know, a more wearable but also fun kind of summery look. I think this is it. I started this off with more of like a beachy kind of thing, but it turns out to be when you add the green with the blue, it reminds me of a peacock color. So here we are, the peacock look. So let's get into our makeup of the day. I'm going to start off with my facial care, my eye roller, and these are like the metal. I just want to go around the face. And then I turn it to the other side. I love this because it's stainless steel and therefore it retains the cool so much longer than if I used a quartz. Although I do have one of those. Maybe I should use them. This feels so good. And these unfortunately are discontinued. They were originally from Sephora, but they don't sell that anymore. I also wish that I had bought extra of it, you know, just in case I need more, like one I go travel, one home kind of thing. But I wasn't really thinking about that. I didn't really know it was any good, to be honest. So I only bought one set, but if I knew it was so good, I probably would have bought two, one for travel. Let's move on with my next one. I'm just gonna put my Chanel Sublimage eye cream. This is just a sample size, but you know, sample size are just good because they don't take up a lot of space. And they also let me try the product out. I'm just tapping under my eyes, you know, to get the product in there. <laughs> Little break out here. I don't know if it's something that I'm using, <laughs> but I'm going to try this Day Glow. Serum, it has vitamin C, it has hyaluronic acid, anti-aging formula. I'm just gonna massage it into my face. Mm, I can smell like the orangey kind of smell. definitely want this part of my face with the brown spots to be brightened up. I have, I can't really say much about the efficacy of this product since I've only used it, I think once or twice now. So I can't really, you know, say if it works or not, but I needed my, I feel like my skin needed a lot of help. Of course, I have washed my hands already. And I have gone to the pool several times the last couple weekends. And I've gotten so much darker compared to my face. Compared to I used to be anyways. I wasn't this dark. That serum went on so quickly. Like my skin is absolutely already dry. I can't even do like a facial massage. <laughs> it... 
it dried down so quickly. So I'm just gonna go in with the Aveeno Baby. This is the eczema therapy. I feel like this is the only one that sort of works okay for me because it, it is approved by the eczema association. And I'm just gonna rub that. I'm just gonna pat it on my face. And then I'm gonna massage my face upwards. Now that I have some slippage to move around in as opposed to that serum, it totally dry. So, oh, I haven't done a facial massage in such a long time. Or this is not really a face massage, but like a skincare massage, I guess. Anyways, let's go in with my bride or die tinted sunscreen by Tower 28. Oh my goodness, I am like literally sitting here on ants because I'm waiting for them to go have their sale. They usually have a sale, I think, in June or July. And I really need to pick up some more of this and some more of the products from Tower 28. Anyways, this is my last tube in my collection right now. And this is the color 20 Mahal, which is like the second lightest color. Uh, it feels so nice when it's a clean tube. My other tube was not that nice. It, oh, okay, it's knocking down all of my stuff. For my foundation, I'm going to use the BK101, BK Beauty 101 brush. I'm sure everybody knows about this brush. It's just so big and fluffy. If you've seen my previous video about the brushes, I am super excited. And actually, I, okay, seriously, I have been on a shopping rampage. Seriously, I. I don't know what is it, but I've been shopping so much lately and I'm just waiting for things to be delivered. Oh, it's crazy how much I'm shopping. And I was gonna shop for some Sonia G brushes, but then I'm like, I just need to slow down because I have basically all brushes of all my air. Basically, I have a lot of brushes to cover my whole face covered. I don't really need more, but it's just nice to have other kind of brushes, you know? Exciting news is that I made my first online Ulta purchase. So we'll see how that goes if it, when it comes. I Again, I'm, I have such bad experiences shopping. So we will see when the Ulta comes, see if it's good. Because again, Sephora, Sephora is basically <laughs> right off for me. I always get really bad products. Like it's open, somebody open and return it or whatever. I, and that's not really cool because then that sort of ruins the integrity of the product. You know, like a lot of the makeup products, once you open it, that's when the shelf life begins. <sighs> Anyways, so for, for me, I feel like I can only buy things when it's like on the release date. Then... I will have a very good chance of getting a brand new product. Otherwise, if I buy something, for an example, I was thinking of buying the Kosas blush. Those products are not even that old, but I pretty much can guarantee if I order them right now, I will get one that is not new. That is how sad my shopping online experience has been and I'm just petrified or just like tired of having go back to return or send it back. Like I, <sighs> oh my goodness. And my forehead is just 
so terrible. I haven't had a breakout since high school, which is like so long ago. My gosh. Okay, anyways, I'm like talking and um, I don't even have foundation to blend, but I continue to blend. I just put some more of the foundation on this, what is this? Hourglass concealer brush. And I'm just putting it underneath here. I, I am also looking for a good concealer. I've tried so many and I have to return them and I just hate doing that. I just, I don't know, I sort of... I don't know if I'm in a rut or something. I just feel like everything that I try does not work and I just want to give up on makeup. <laughs> Except for the thing that I currently have. Those one works, but the new stuff, I don't know what will work for me. Anyways, rant aside, I am looking for a concealer. I've tried the Tower 28. I'm not quite sure. I feel like I don't remember it being very, sitting very well on my skin under eye and so I have another concealer that I just purchased and just waiting for delivery oh, gosh I think I'm just gonna throw in the towel and get a Chanel <laughs> concealer I have been actually looking at it actually to be honest I have been staying up like past midnight looking at things to buy like I, I, hi, I'm Kelly. I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> Anyways, I was looking at the Chanel concealer, the Sublimage concealer, the one that's like a hundred, I don't know, a hundred and five dollars or something like that. It's so expensive, but I feel like I've been trying buying concealer that's like thirty dollars or forty dollars, and I return them, and I don't like them. I feel like I should just go ahead, get the Chanel one. I should, right? <laughs> Because I, I really, I truly do love Chanel, and I feel like that's gonna be my one and only brand, my one and only love from for the rest of my life. I have tried other brands. I just, I like them, I'm just not in love, like a relationship. Foundation is on, concealer is on. Not much of a difference apparently. I just need to find a concealer. Anyways, uh, what is this? Grande brow laminate, typical thing. It doesn't matter. I feel like when you use something so often, you don't even know what it's called. It's like, you know, driving down your street. You know what where to turn, but if they ask you what's the name of the street, you'd be like, mm, I don't know. This just helps my brow. Oh, how I miss a day when my brows were bushy and youthful. Now I'm going to go and set my face with the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Press Powder. And I have the color Creme. And I'm using the BK Beauty 108. This is one of the new brush. Actually, I bought the set, the precision set, because of this darn brush because it was sold out. So the first time that I use it, I'm going to be honest, the first time I use it, I didn't think it was soft. See like this right now, I don't feel it's soft. I feel like for me, when I do this dapping motion, I feel like it's kind of pokey, like this little short hair, but when I do it like this, like gliding, it's soft. But if I do it like this, it's, oh, ow. it's not as soft. And I'm not even putting any pressure on this. And unfortunately for me, because I wanted this brush, because I wanted the dapping motion, not the sweeping motion. Like if I'm sweeping like this, I'm fine. I feel like if I do this, it's pokey. Oof. 
pokey. Oh, I don't know. Because this one is just not soft. So that means I have to use this in this, like this kind of motion. But if it's this kind of motion, pokey. Ooh, it's leaving sensation in my head. Ah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about this. I might have to do power powering with the 113. This one. Oh, it feels so soft. I bought the other one thinking that I can do this because no, this one is soft. Like I don't feel any sensation that it's poking me like the other one. Yeah. I should just use this. But what I have been using this lately is for highlighting. I actually really like it. It's such it's so fluffy and soft. So that was a little bit disappointing for a new brush. The whole reason why I bought it. So now we are going in with bronzer and it's gonna be the 107. This one is so soft. I can see it's like, it's so fluffy, like in the movie Guru. Oh, this one is so soft and so nice. Anyways, bronzer, I'm going to use the Chanel Medium Rose Gold Palette. So I'm just going to go in and swirl the two color together. And it's so strong. And I'm just gonna tap my brush with my finger. This is very strong smell. I really like this brush. I have a Tom Ford of this shape, but it is not in my possession at the moment. But I do enjoy bronzing with this kind of brush. And then on top, you can just lay it down like it. It's nice and big and fluffy and it's so soft. This one is really good out of the bunch. But I love this one. It's just nice and big and fluffy. You can blend it out. Okay. And then just blending it out. But more of in a diffuse way. I'm not looking for anything really Define, really diffuses, and it's so nice and soft. I don't feel any prickly sensation at all. And then the other side. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to go towards my nose. It's a little bit big, but it's doable. And I just want to use whatever product is left to put it on there. Not looking for anything extra, you know what I mean? Just going to go in with just a smaller amount, just a a tiny bit more of bronzer. Nice and bronze. I'm going for more of like a summer kind of look. So I kind of want my cheeks to be a little bit more pronounced. So I'm just going to go in with the, the BK Beauty 109. This may be enough, or we may need more after the eyeshadow look. Because sometimes, you know, when everything is together, you feel like you need more blush, or you may not.
and I kind of like the look of whatever blush is left on my brush. I kind of put it on top of my forehead just to blend things in. And let's go in with the fun Chanel 78 Ravage. So excited. I haven't used it in I think like maybe a month and I miss it. I truly miss this blue. I think it's just because I think it's summer. That's why this blue just brings the summer out of me. It brings some joy. I just want to use it. So I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford number 13 brush and I'm going to go in with this lightest shade here. And just putting it all over my lid as a base. A clean base oh. just want to even things out this is literally my skin color so nice now I'm gonna go in with the BK 206 I used this once I felt like this was the other one in the set that was not as soft it was a little bit pokey on my eyes so I don't know I'm trying it again I'm going in with the blue. Oh, for an, I want to leave a little bit of room here for another color. That blue just sing me joy. I'm going to go back with some more blue because clearly it is uneven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love, love, love this blue. But every time I use this blue, it reminds me of the Queen of Hearts, the Johnny Depp version with Helen something. It reminds me totally of her makeup look, eyeshadow look. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love that movie. And the character that I love most is the Queen of Hearts. Actually, I was Queen of Hearts for Halloween. And yep. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna blend on top, onto the top of my lid with this color. It's just so beautiful, but... I'm going to do a soft blend. I'm going to get some more to do the blending out. You want to give it a very diffuse, blended, but yet defined look. Yeah, I feel this this brush is giving me pokey sensation. It is. It's giving me pokey sensation. Uh, I don't love it as much. I'm gonna go in on the other side. I don't know. feel like it's uneven. Maybe I need to pack the color down some more. But when it's that saturated, pigmented blue shows up like that now, oh, so beautiful. I know it looks weird right now, but I cannot say how much I love this blue. Anyways, I'm just going to go in with the 211. I'm going to go in with this darkest brown here just to give some definition on the crease line. 
and makes that pop, blue pop even more so. Just beautiful. Just like that. I love it. This I love this brush. It fits perfectly in my crease. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Smudger 2 in that blue color. For underneath the eyes. And then on the other eye. Now I'm going to go with the Sonia G Pencil 1 brush. I love this one. This one is the perfect brush for my inner corner eye work. And we are going with Chanel's 222 J Fawcett Tay. I thought that I love the blue. I love the green. Let's put them together. I'm going to go in mainly on the very tip of the brush. And I'm going to put it in the inner eye corner. Ooh. And then I'm going to blend it out onto the bottom. And meeting up with the blue. Getting some more. And I'm putting it in the uh, inner eye as well. This one need, may need more to build up because the color is very light. So. I'm going to go in some more up here because I'm blending it into the blue. I'm gonna go and try with this 207 to see if it can show up even more. But this color is very light. But let's go on with the other side. I'm going to go in with the 207 and pack this on. This is a very fun, almost reminds me of like Tommy Bahamas kind of style, which I am very much into, you know, it's colorful and like a peacock color. I love it. I don't know about you, but I love it. It probably looks incomplete, to be honest. So I'm going to go in with my Chanel 82 Blah Abyss. I'm going to go line the outer corner of the eye. I love this color as well. This eyeliner is part of this Rivage collection. I just wanted a pop of color on the outer and on the bottom as well. And tying things together.
I'm going to be adventurous and I'm going to line the waterline as well just to see how it looks. Just a little bit. You don't have to do the waterline if you don't want to, but I kind of like it. I'm going to go with the Scienty Smudger 2 and no product. I'm just blending it in incomplete we need some mascara okay so mascara is on and this is the look I love it, somehow it turned into it, it was supposed to be an ocean thing and now it's turned into a peacock thing but yes love 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 oh my goodness anyways let's get on with the, some highlighting I'm going with the Lumiere de Lucien this is also part of the Ravage collection it ha it's a white highlighter with a blue shift and for highlighting, I have been loving the 112. This is a small face brush, but I love to use as highlighter because it is so fluffy and so soft. Some people might not like this highlighter because, you know, it is a little bit more sparkly, but it is the ocean. It's summer, a spring collection, but you can use it for summer. I don't mind that. Anyways, I love this highlighter. So what I do is I like to turn the brush here with the pointed longest end down. And then when I sweep it, it gives me that, you know, tapered kind of look. You can always just go in, you know, very gently and softly and little products at a time if you don't want it to be too overwhelming. And then what I do is I turn it on the side with the tapered end and then I do highlight in my brows. This brush fits so perfectly in that it's angled perfectly for the shape of the face, well, of my face anyways. But the angle part, the taper part fits in the front here and then the angle part goes down. And then turn it the, the same way but going upwards like it just fits so nicely i can always add more which i am because i just love this and i also want to show you how it highlights Tell me you can see this beautiful glow from this highlighter. I just love this highlighter. It goes perfectly with my Rivage and every time I use the Rivage, I have to use this. Like it's, it's just an inclination, like I have to. <laughs> like it's just because I just think it goes so well together. But also on a regular basis, I just love white highlighter. And this one is absolutely a bonus that it has blue shift. Anyways, and I'm putting on my bridge here. Just whatever is left. I didn't even get more. I, could, I can get more, but I just wanted to show you how it distributes and how it fits on my face with this brush. And then now we're going to go on with this side. Well, I'm going to go in some more because it's not bright enough. It's not bright enough for this peacock.
and then I turn it onto my brows. more muted, more subtle, or a lot. And then I'm just taking whatever's left and I'm just gonna continue to blend just whatever powder is black left. It just does its job. And for blush, I mean, and for lips, since the eye is the party, I'm going to use 116. This is Rouge Cocoa Bloom not in the color Dream. It's again, a, your lips but better neutral, but very glossy and very balmy, like, like almost like a lip balm, but um, more tinted lip balm. And I don't line my lips because I like that natural looking. I really don't like to be lined. It's just so smooth and soft and glide like basically the perfect lip balm. Give you shine. It gives you a natural shine already. Like you don't even need lip gloss. It feels really, really comfortable on the lips. Again, I have mentioned it before. If I didn't have a lip chap or a lip balm, this would be the replacement for that. It feels exactly like a lip balm, but a very expensive lip balm. <laughs> it already has enough shine. But if you want more shine, we can always top it with a um, Rouge Coco Gloss. This one is 712. It's just a clear with gold flex on them. So you, you see the difference between some more shine versus no shine on top. Now we have shine on the lips as well. So this is my look of the day. Summer is here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me and until the next video. Bye everyone.